ないんだ。はい。Hi everyone, it's Alvi with House of Color. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my newborn must-haves video for you. My little one is no longer newborn. He is three months old. The time has literally flown by, and people always say that, but I'm definitely experiencing it firsthand. So as a new mom, we try to be as prepared as possible. For our baby but in my case i was actually not that prepared when i tell you guys i had nothing i literally had nothing i had no nursery hi i just had a crib that Ange bought me and then a car seat and stroller set because of course you need a car seat to bring the baby home so those were the only two things that i had i bought no clothes no pacifiers no bottles nothing a lot of the things i bought as i went along and as i felt the need for them because i didn't want to overdo it and just buy a whole bunch of stuff that i know i'm probably never going to use so the first thing i want to Excuse you. The first thing I want to talk to you guys about is my car seat and stroller set. Mine is the Nuna. I did very extensive research on strollers and car seat systems before I got my hands on one because I wanted to make sure that it fit my lifestyle and it was perfect for what I needed it for. I actually went to Nordstrom's and tested out all the strollers to see which one would fit me the best. And after thinking about it long and hard, I knew that Nuna was perfect for me. Right here, um, I have the Nuna car seat. Dun, dun, dun. It's really nice. It's sleek. You can get it in various colors. There was an infant insert right here, but I took it out because he's outgrown that. But I really love my Nuna set. Mine is the Nuna Mix. And the reason why I decided to go with that was because it was just perfect for me. It was lightweight and it wasn't huge and heavy because I know I'm going to be lugging that thing around by myself a lot and I did not want something huge and ginormous and break my back every time I folded it up and put it in the car. If you guys want me to do a whole in-depth review of the Nuna stroller set, let me know. I will do a whole separate video if you guys are interested in seeing that. So I'm just going to go over a few basic things about what I like and why I chose this one. First things first is that it's very convenient. The stroller itself, it's very easy to maneuver. You can snap the car seat right on. You can open it with a tap of a button and then you can close it up with just a little pull of the knob. And it folds right up. There's not a lot of parts to it. And the car seat just snaps right onto the stroller so when you're in the car and baby is sleeping and you get to your destination you just take out the car seat and snap it onto the stroller and that's it you don't have to remove baby or anything like that and wake him up and you know when a baby is sleeping you would do anything to keep that baby sleeping that was one of the biggest things I was looking for when I was looking for a stroller set I wanted to be convenient and I wanted the car seat to snap right onto the stroller what I also really love about this stroller is that it is lightweight and then it has this little piece right here and my girlfriend Stacy actually pointed out to me you just unzip this portion right here and then you take this part out and then it snaps on has some little magnetic pieces and you just snap the two sides together like that and then it just covers up your car seat before I knew about this little contraption I used to cover the car seat with a blanket and it just didn't look that clean but with this it just looks really nice and then you can carry it around it just looks very very clean I love the look of it that's what I really love about the car seat once baby grows a little bit older he will be using the other part of the stroller which is the actual stroller itself and the really great thing about that is that you do not have to remove the seats to fold up the stroller so you just leave the seat in there and you fold up your stroller and that is it that is such a huge deal because when you're a mom you're on the go you're doing a million things the last thing you want to do is take out all these parts it's one less thing that you have to worry about you just fold up the stroller you put it in your car and that is it that's what I really love about the stroller and it's so easy to use like I mentioned to you guys I research a lot of the other strollers the Nuna is definitely for me and I love it so much the second thing on my list is the Daka Tot. This thing has been a lifesaver. I got this the day, I think the day I went to the hospital. Yeah, the day I went to the hospital, it came in the mail, it arrived just in time for him. And this is the Daka Talk Deluxe, and he has been sleeping in this thing since day one. The really great thing about this Daka Tot is that it is convenient. 
hi <laughs> is that it's very convenient you can leave it in the crib for him to nap you can put it in your bed you can put it downstairs it's very multifunctional when he was little we had this attached but now that he's a little bit older we have it open so that he can have a lot of space right here and move his legs but this thing has been a lifesaver. We use it to co-sleep. He sleeps in between us and he absolutely loves it. Baby and I went out of town a couple weeks ago and he did not sleep well because he did not have his daca tot. Apparently when we were out of town, he just wasn't having his good night's rest like how he usually does. The night that we came home, he slept in his bed and he slept like a baby. Mm, pun intended. The Sakata has given baby a great night's rest, which means that we get a good night's rest and you know how important that is to be fully rested with a newborn. The Sakata is super plush. You lay baby here and then the bumper surrounds the baby and he just feels all comfy and cozy and it's just perfect for baby. So I really love this and I would highly recommend any new mom out there to give one of these a try. It's really helped baby sleep well and it's such a great co-sleeper for us. Next up on my list is this nose Frida. You're doing so good over here. I just want to show you guys what he's doing right now. He's just hanging out watching me record this. Whoops. Let's see. He's just hanging out watching mommy work. The next thing on my list is this nose Frida and my friend Hung actually sent this to me. She sent it with the Little Remedies Saline Drops. This works really well with the nose Frida. For those of you guys who don't know what a nose Frida is, you're basically the nose Frida is a tool you stick inside your little one's nostril and you suck out all the congestion that's built up in his nose. And this really came in handy in the beginning when we didn't have our humidifier and it was just so dry. It caused baby to get congested all the time and he had all these boogers and it was just hard for him to breathe and he was uncomfortable with the nose freedom it really decongested him so basically what you do is you take one of these saline sprays you drop it in their nose and you let it settle for a few seconds and then you use the nose Frida. This is the part that goes into their nostril and this is the part where you suck and you just suck out all the nostrils and all the buildup. I mean, you suck out all the nostrils. You suck out all the buildup that's in their nose and they're nice and clean and comfortable again. This definitely came in handy and we used to use it every single day on him as part of his nightly routine. But then my girlfriend told me, you know, that's not really a good idea because you can really mess up their nose if you use it too much so we backed off on it and we only use it sparingly every time he gets really congested we use it that brings me to the next item which is our humidifier like I mentioned our space is very dry and I bought the humidifier from Amazon I really love it it's very sleek looking it's clean we have it on every single night and ever since we bought it and used it baby doesn't really get congested anymore he doesn't have a lot of buildup it's really been helpful and it's been really great on his skin too because he used to have a lot of eczema and recently it's been coming back a little bit not too bad as it was before but it's definitely coming back and I hope humidifier really helps moisturizes his skin I think the humidifier I bought was only 30 or 40 dollars it wasn't expensive at all and it looks really nice and cute I mentioned to you guys that baby had eczema the doctor said that it wasn't anything serious and it just looks a lot worse than it really is he wasn't really itching his face or anything like that it just breaks my heart to see him with such a red face we used several different lotions for the eczema I first tried what did I try Cetaphil I used Cetaphil, the eczema Cetaphil, and it really didn't do much for his skin. And then I used the Eucerin, which is what his pediatrician gave us to try, and that didn't really work either. Vaseline worked a little bit, but what really helped was this Aveeno Eczema Therapy Lotion. Are you okay? Aw, it's okay, Preston. Sagan Copier. Mommy loves you. Um, so this Aveeno Eczema Baby Therapy Lotion has really helped calm down his eczema. We use it on his face and it really calms down the redness and it basically worked overnight for us. It's been really helpful. It soothes the redness, it calms it down. And then I also got this Aveeno Baby eczema nighttime therapy this is the cream version and this is like a balm version it's way thicker so you can use it at nighttime when they're sleeping definitely try the vino baby eczema therapy lotion if your baby has eczema this definitely worked for preston speaking of sleep this has been such a godsend 
I'm going to show you guys right now. This is our nested bean swaddle. Here it is. Dun, 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 dun. I am obsessed with this thing. Baby, he, I think he likes it. He fights the swaddle a little bit in the morning, especially now that he's older. We were swaddling him a lot when he was younger and then he just kept fighting it, so we stopped. And then we started swaddling him at night again because he gets startled so easily and he's always waving his arms all over the place. I feel like he was always restless. I purchased a few swaddles, but the one that I got was so thick and it made him really hot and he got out of it so quickly. And then also the fabric went up to his nose and it covered his face and I just got really shooken up because that's the last thing you want is an unsafe swaddle. This swaddle is very soft and the great thing about this is that it has like a bean bag material right here on the chest and on the sides. What it's supposed to do is that it's supposed to mimic somebody holding the baby and there's supposed to be pressure on the sides of the baby and also on top and that's what helps the baby sleep. The weights definitely help baby sleep and the material is very soft. It's breathable. I just wrap him up like a little egg roll and and he sleeps he knows when it's bedtime he just lays there and I wrap him up real good and he sleeps basically right away as soon as I put it on him this nested bean swaddle has been really helpful to get baby to sleep and he doesn't get startled as much because he's locked up in there and he sleeps soundly we get a good night's rest he gets a good night's rest everyone's happy next thing on my list is this hands-free pumping bra this thing is amazing now <laughs> You guys, being a mom, if anything makes your life easier, it is God sent, okay? So before I was pumping, I used to have to hold the nozzles like this. And I was basically handicapped to the breast pump for 20 to 30 minutes. And I was thinking to myself, there has got to be an easier way to do this. So Ange told me about this hands-free pump bra. And this thing is, oh my gosh, it's amazing. I can't live without it. I actually have two. I bought um, the Medela one and this is the Simply Wishes one. I will link everything in the description box so you guys can click it if you want to check it out. But this one's from Simply Wishes. I I would recommend this one over the Medela one because the Medela one when you put the zipper on and you pull it the zipper most of the time it comes apart and it's like why why does the zipper always do this to me but this works so nice the zipper does not ever 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 do that and there's a tie in the back so you can adjust it to your body and it's very thick it also comes with straps if you want to do the whole strap thing but I just have a little bralette and you put this bra on you put your pump stuff on and your hands are free you can play with your phone, you can watch baby, you can feed him or whatever you need to do and it is just amazing. And I would highly, highly recommend any moms out there, if you guys are pumping, please get yourself one of these. It is the best $15 you will ever spend in your entire life. I talked about the humidifier, I talked about the swaddles, okay sanitizer oh so the sanitizer i had the baby breeze sanitizer and it's really really nice i had the munchkin one before and that one works really well but it doesn't dry your stuff it just sanitizes it and then you have to take it out and let it dry on its own the baby breeze it's a lot more expensive not only does it sanitizes your bottles but it also dries it definitely invest in a sanitizer if you are going that route with washing bottles and washing your pump gear when babies are first born, they have really long nails. I actually filed down his nails right in the beginning, the first couple days he was born because it was so long. You're scared to do his nails because you don't want to hurt him. I would definitely suggest you guys getting shirts that have the little built-in gloves. Let me grab one. Here is one of Preston's old shirt. It is teeny tiny. I can't believe he used to fit this. That guy was only five pounds something when he was born. But this is what I was talking about. This shirt is from Carter's and it has the little part right here where you can put his hands in and then you fold this piece over and it covers his hands so he doesn't scratch himself. Now the first couple days he was born, he literally put his finger inside his eye socket and was like hooking it and I got so scared because I was like oh my god do not do that to yourself so for about I want to say like a month and a half even two months 
We did not see his hands. He did not see his hands. It was always covered up in these shirts or it was covered up in mittens because I didn't want him to hurt himself. These shirts are super handy when you have a newborn and you just put them on and you cover their hands like this and you're safe and you don't have to worry about them poking their eyes out. The next thing I would recommend you guys to get is a baby mirror for the car. I got mine from Baby Saw Rust. I think it was 20 bucks and it works really well. You just stick it on to the back of the car where the car seat is and you can see the baby when you're driving. It used to make me really nervous before I had the mirror because I could not see him and check on him while I was driving by myself. I always want to keep an eye on him. Once I got the mirror, I felt a lot better because I wasn't always concerned if he was okay because I could just look back there in the mirror and see how he's doing. It's such a great buy and for any moms out there who spends a lot of time with baby by themselves, definitely get yourself a mirror and give yourself some peace of mind. Next and I'm almost done. Next and last thing I have on my list is this little liner for the baby bath. This thing, are you okay? Are you over it? You're almost done? Okay, I'm almost done too, Gong. I'll be right with you, okay? I have a four mom's bath and I would just stick this into the bathtub and it's a really great cushion for baby to lay on. You put this in the bathtub and you place baby on here and he's not slipping and sliding everywhere and it creates a really great cushion for him to lay on as well. I would recommend getting one of these. It's very inexpensive. I think I paid $5 for this and it's really been helpful during bath time. Hey guys, so I completely forgot to include two essential things for my newborn must-haves. So I'm back today and I want to share them with you guys. Amazon Prime. Now, I don't know how I would have been able to survive without Amazon Prime because when I came back from the hospital, like I told you guys, I had nothing and I just bought things as I needed them. And Amazon Prime was such a lifesaver because as soon as I ordered it, it would ship in two days, sometimes one. Sometimes you could do Amazon now and it would ship within two hours and it was such a lifesaver because I'm immobile, I'm resting, I'm taking care of the baby. My life just turned completely upside down so I couldn't drive, I couldn't go anywhere. Amazon Prime was such a lifesaver and I would recommend any new moms out there to go ahead and get that because y'all are going to need it and you're going to thank me later. So I'm hooking you up. Amazon Prime is not sponsoring any part of this but if any of you guys work for Amazon and are feeling a little generous, I won't be mad if you send a check my way, okay? The last thing on my list is this wrap. It is from Soli Baby Wrap. It is the best, you guys, okay? It is amazing. It's so soft, it's breathable for baby, and I have used it on all my trips with baby so far. I've used it around the house because a lot of times when he's in one of his moods, you gotta carry him, but you still got things that you gotta do. Why not go ahead and kill two birds with one stone? This wrap has been so amazing and I was traveling with it and I carried him in the wrap and he was just fine. He did not even cry. He wasn't even fussy. People on the plane were like, wow, you had a baby the whole time? I was like, yep. Mm -hmm. Preston really loved the wrap and he really likes being close to me. It's not hard on me to wear him and it's so convenient. I'm hands-free. I'm carrying him. I'm doing dishes. Well, not literally doing dishes, but I do vacuum. I make the bed. Sometimes, actually most of the time, he does fall asleep in the wrap and then I just take him out and put him down and it's just amazing. I've really been loving it and they do have a lot of different colors and prints but I chose black because I feel like that's my mom uniform. Black, it's easy, it's simple, matches anything. It's just so soft and it's easy to pack. It's not heavy duty and I can just fold it up and throw it in my luggage and it's all good. That is it today for my list of newborn items that you must have. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a million of things that I would recommend, but I narrowed it down to these must, must haves because I would die without any of these products. Let's say bye, Preston. You did so good. You let mommy work. Preston, can I hi? Preston, can I hi, Gong? Hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. Thank you for watching my mommy. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video. Bye. My body gone. My body. Bye everyone. <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs>